In this session, we're going to continue our series of cold reviews. We're going to take a look here at Simple Custom CSS. I have already briefly read over this page, and I should mention that I actually know the developer, John. He's a good guy. This plugin purports to allow us to update some CSS and override theme and plugin CSS right within the WordPress UI. In the features, it says there's no configuration uses the WordPress UI, no impact on site performance, no JavaScript files or complicated database queries, no CSS files, which is particularly interesting, extremely lightweight, and thorough documentation. Let's take a look at the Frequently Asked Questions file real quick. It does not work on WordPress.com, and here are some reasons why the CSS might not be working. And usually it's because you did it wrong. We'll take a look at the screenshots, and there is the editor. It looks like it's under Appearance, so we'll look there once we install it. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, there is a Settings link. Let's click that and see where it goes. It goes under Appearance, Custom CSS. Here on the right are some instructions. Enter your Custom CSS in the text area to the right. Click Update Custom CSS and enjoy your new CSS styles. There's a help link that just goes out to a wiki on how to do CSS, basically. And then attribution. This plugin is really helpful. Print credit to the author within the CSS file. No text will appear on your website. We'll leave that off for now, but click it again in a second. So it looks like we have just a great big text area here to type stuff. So I'm going to do something really simple and obvious. There, that should turn the site background red. And there it is. Over here you can see the red. So now let's view source and see how that works. Because he said that it doesn't make a CSS file. I don't see my CSS there. Let's try searching for a CSS file. There's dash icons, admin bar, genericons, and style, IE. And nothing there either. Let's try one more thing. I have the web developer toolbar here installed, which is not a WordPress thing, it's a Firefox thing but you can view generated source. And it's not there either. And I don't see it there either. So now we'll inspect element with Firebug and see if we can figure it out. It looks like it's in SCCSS. There it is. Right there. So it does include a CSS file. I'm going to have to get after him about that because he said it did not. Okay, but looking at this URL, it does not actually call a file. It's using the link tag to call WordPress with a variable on it, which means the CSS is probably stored in a transient, which means it's readily available to WordPress all the time. So now let's do this. And we'll go back. We'll click here, and there it says created by the Simple Custom CSS plugin. So he's right, it doesn't make an extra file, but it does use the link tag, which ever so slightly slows down the call. Ideally, I'd rather see the CSS embedded right in the HTML, right above the head here, after this style. On the whole, it works quite well. We were able to find the link to this page quite easily, and it was quite obvious what to do and how to make it work. And it appears to work great. So if you ever find yourself needing to override some CSS created by a plugin or theme and you don't actually want to hack up files, this would be a great plugin to use.